Today we are riding Amtrak's Empire Builder from St. Paul, Minnesota to Winona and back. We're planning to do it just as a day trip, which we are still going to do. We're going to have to cut some of our plans we had in Winona because Amtrak does have a tendency to run late. It was supposed to leave St. Paul at 9 o'clock this morning and it's currently scheduled to arrive now at 4 p.m. Thankfully, we did get that news before we drove down, so we didn't have to spend all day at Union Depot. But we're definitely going to have to cut some planes in Winona, like we said. But it shouldn't be too long now until the train does arrive. We're on the train to Winona, which is currently now only seven hours late. It made up a little bit of time in Minneapolis, St. Paul, so hopefully we don't hit any more delays and that'll give us a little bit more time in Winona. after we got on we went and grabbed spots in the lounge car since it's going to be dark for our return trip tonight we wanted to be able to make sure we had some views of the mississippi river We're off the train in Winona. We have about 20 minutes until sunset and still a pretty decent walk to get to our trail yet. So we're gonna do that as fast as we can. We were planning on doing two trails, but we just don't have enough time. Yeah. So just one. We made it to our trailhead, now it's about 20 minutes past sunset and it's definitely pretty dark now. We're still gonna go ahead and attempt the trail though. We'll see how far we end up making it. The trail is Sugarloaf Bluff and it's a 1.2 mile out and back. And there's pretty significant elevation yeah. as well. pretty much pitch black by the time we made it to the top of the bluff and although the views would have been a lot better while it was light out which is a little bit disappointing it's still really cool to see all the lights you can kind of see the silhouettes of the mississippi river valley so it's still a really cool experience nonetheless and there's a little arch over there like arches national park only one here compared to the thousands they have there but it's still fun to see something mm -hmm. that reminds you of somewhere else you've been yeah we've got about two hours before the train to st paul gets here so we're gonna go back into town and get some food We were planning to walk into downtown Winona to get some pizza for dinner, but we weren't sure if we would have enough time to get there and back before the train, and obviously we didn't want to miss that. So we ended up ordering delivery from a place called Sammy's Pizza. It's a local Minnesota joint that started in the town of Hibbing up in the Iron Range and has spread to about 18 or so locations across the state. We got the Amore pepperoni with one with extra pepperoni and extra cheese. Mm -hmm. Kelly's enjoying it. I'm going to have mm -hmm. to give it a bite. <laughs> That's good. That's really good. Mm -hmm. We're on 
on the train back to St. Paul now. It's pretty dark outside, so there's not a whole lot to look at, but we decided to settle into the lounge car nonetheless. Since a lot of people in coach class are trying to sleep, we thought this would be more respectful of their space, not talking as much, and just a, a more fun spot to hang out with more lights on as well. So probably not gonna be a whole lot more to expect from this video, like I said, with not a lot else outside, but I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please be sure to like and subscribe for more content.